Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host, and I'm excited to be here for another episode of Jim and Java. Well, it's year end time, and this continues to get to be a busier time of the year, even though this is just mid November. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, our organization is working feverishly to get letters, emails, making phone calls, get appointments. Uh, if you aren't doing that already, you need to be thinking about what's your plan for this coming year. And so I'm excited. If you've got questions for us, please make sure that uh, you go out to Twitter and leave a question at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Follow me on Instagram at uh, Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And you can always email me at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. Well, let's dive right into our first question today. Our first question today is from Mike in Diamond Bar, California. And Mike asked, is it really important to add a phone call to my year-end strategy? Well, Mike, thank you so much for this question. And I actually have a video coming out this week on Tuesday that I hope you'll watch. And it addresses making a terrific phone call at year end. But your question is related to whether a phone call should be made at all. And it's a great question because I get that often. You'll find that in most studies, sending out a letter at year end will have a response rate of somewhere between 2 and 3%. An exceptional situation might have a 4 to 6% response rate on your letters. But when you include a phone call following up, your response rate soars to anywhere between 25 and 30%. That's a 28% increase in your response rate when you follow up with a phone call. Now, why is it that oftentimes people don't make phone calls? Well, it really comes down to, in many cases, a, a factor, one word, that's fear. People tend to get scared to actually make phone calls. As a result, they'll make excuses, they'll say they're busy, but in reality, they either haven't been trained and they don't have the confidence, or number two, they feel like they aren't wired to be able to do that. And I believe that also comes down to a lack of training. And so it is so important that any good nonprofit leader learn to overcome that fear of getting on the phone and talking with a person. You wouldn't have any problem calling a friend, relative, child, but it, there's just something different about getting on the phone with a donor or financial partner. And I get that. It's not easy to get on there. There are times when I feel like picking up that cell phone and calling someone, it's, it's like picking up a 150 pound weight. But once you get in the rhythm, once you get in the flow, it's not that bad. It really isn't. And once you start to get a few good calls under your belt, things will go really well. Start out with some individuals who you feel comfortable with that you feel in a lot of cases will say yes to your appeal. I always like to use in a letter phone strategy the whole idea of the fact, did you get the letter that I sent earlier this week or did you get the letter that our organizational leader or board member sent this last week? Have you decided how you can help? Now, I, those words are very important. Have you decided how you're going to help, not can you help? And I address that more in the video, uh, but it's important that you are prepared for a question like that. Um, and you need to make sure that you put, you plant the seeds of that you, it's your intention that they give, not can you give, will you give, uh, have you decided whether you're going to give, not those. How much are you able to give? That plants the seed that the expectation is there that you want them to give. And that's so important. Now, I understand that that is a difficult question. That is confrontational as well. But really stepping out and believing that you're going to have some positive situations, you're going to have positive um conversations with people will really, really make a big difference. But there really should be uh, no excuse for not making a call at your end. And if you struggle with making calls like that and, and it's short notice, 
you need to make sure that you find someone who is doing that. If you raise your own funding, if you, you are a missionary or you're raising your own funding, make sure that either the husband, wife, spouse, uh, partner, make sure that that individual, uh, one of those people knows how to give, knows how to ask and feel comfortable about asking. Uh, but if you're part of a nonprofit organization, find someone who isn't afraid to ask. Find someone who feels comfortable asking, whether that's a colleague, whether that's a board member. Uh, and, and in some cases, it could be another donor or ministry partner that feels comfortable that makes those questions. But it is so important. I believe that our partners see the value of connecting with people. I know that it's so important. And a, a letter only goes so far in building relationships. You've got to take it to the next step. You've got to have a video, audio, phone call with those individuals. And in a perfect world, your critical few, you are meeting with those people at year end. It's so important from a relationship standpoint that you meet with those people. And, and that is an important element. But if you can't, a phone call is the next best thing with people. So make sure that you do whatever you can to get over the hump of actually talking to people on the phone. Think about it as relationship building. If you think about it as friend raising and not fundraising, I think that will help you a bit with your perspective. What can I do today to build a friend amongst our donors or partners? When you're looking to make a phone call to build friends rather than build funds, then I believe your perspective will be a lot better. So that would be my recommendation and why I believe it's so important to make a phone call at year end. And Mike, I hope that helped and uh, my best wishes to you as you make calls at year end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got a question that you need answering, please reach out to me at, at any of the sources at Twitter, uh, at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'm trying to have a greater presence out there and provide more helpful information for all of our community out there and reach out to me at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. And of course, you could always reach me on email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as I say, we always want to help you strive to increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you next week. Bye.